Hey everyone, Admiral Seabass here for Japan's turn, January 1937. First, I want you to notice this three dollars here. I shorted Japan's income after July 1936. They actually get a peacetime bonus for China. Um, you look right there. Peacetime bonus, U.S. trade, plus three. Reduced by one each turn that Japan makes at least one combat move against China. So they should have had three more dollars last turn. <clears throat> which I've given to them there. And with that, they're just going to buy an extra infantry. So Japan will have two infantry, one light tank, two marines, and one tech roll. Uh, these two infantry and the light tank will go at the now medium factory in, what is this called again? Oh man, it's getting crowded there. Jehol. And the two marines will be built in mainland Japan. And let's go ahead and do the tech roll now. So let's move over here. First, let's show this. Japan has two stages on long-range aircraft, so we're going to go for a third at seven or less. So, put that right there. Seven or less long-range aircraft. There's an 11. Wow. The trend of making tech rolls continues. So, long-range aircraft, now stage three for Japan. <clears throat> Japan, if you remember last turn, uh, they um, pounded the snot on a border clash out of some Soviets here. And the Soviets moved some of their guys back here. Technically, Japan could hit this militia with their aircraft and some of these units here, but it's not worth it. Um, so Japan's not going to do any combat moves. And we're not going to attack Japan. China yet uh, this turn, but we might next turn, or we're at least going to be ready to do it by the end of this turn. So, um, we are going to have a couple of non-combat moves as Japan. Not very many. Um, first, we're going to move this coastal sub one more to there. Um, we're going to move this torpedo pedo boat destroyer over here like that that's going to be our uh, naval meat shield when we go in and attack uh, China next turn because China has this torpedo boat destroyer right there um, that's about all we're going to do with the Navy we don't really need to do anything else um, with the navies um, uh, waiting for next turn to do a lot of that. We are going to move one of these infantry um, I think we'll move one of these infantry up here to western Manchuria like that um, yep, yeah, we'll do that um, I don't see a lot else I need to do with Japan. I like having these aircraft here. Um, and I've got the naval aircraft there. I'm pretty flexible in terms of being able to hit uh, China next turn. So there's just not a ton that I want or need to do as Japan uh, this particular turn for uh, non-combat moves. So uh, let's leave it at that. Uh, let me make sure I'm not missing anything. Uh, okay, so now we will uh, let's see, put units on the map or production chart. So yeah, place units. So let me grab the two infantry in the light tank. You pay for those. Down there to the bank. 
Grab another chip for the infantry. And having that medium factory there in Jehol is sure going to be handy because I can place three units there. So the light tank will go there. And I'll put two more infantry under this guy. So now I got a pretty substantial force there that can go in. And now I got to place my two marine units. And now I've got four marines to support amphibious assault activity. Next turn against China. So just grab another chip. And we'll make sure you can see this. Yep, we sure can. So I'll just put two more chips down under this guy. So now I've got four Marines ready to go. Um, so, yeah, that's it for Japan. Um, what else do we do? Deliver Lend Lease. There was none. Collect all income and bonuses. So uh, I added their bonuses here. Uh, since it's a peacetime bonus, and that'll go down by one each turn they attack Japan or China. So they'll collect $19 uh, to spend at the start of next turn. So let me grab that. There's $19 for Japan. Pretty easy turn for them. Not a lot going on, but... Um, if you look at the situation over here, uh, China is going to get hit hard um, by the combined might of Japan. Um, and uh, it shouldn't be that difficult for Japan to take this territory, this territory, uh, and probably this one or this one next turn. But we'll see. we'll see how Japan does it. Remember, China has kind of made a choice to pull back. Better for them to defend in the mountains than on the plains, where all the Jap on the, the the flatter parts of China here, the coastal areas, where Japan can use their bombardment capability to take out more Chinese infantry. So, be interesting to see what happens next turn. This is January 1937, Japan. Admiral Seabass signing off.